Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at the new Genesis eNews Extended plugin. Uh, this plugin will only work with Studio Press themes because they're all built on the Genesis theme framework. Uh, the reason this plugin was created is because FeedBurner have uh, pretty much closed down their API. So Genesis have decided the existing eNews widget which is built into the core of the Genesis theme framework will be slowly phased out over the next two releases of Genesis which will be 1.9 and 2.0 so that will be totally taken out of the core files of the, uh, the Genesis framework when Genesis 2.0 is released so if you want to build your email list and you still want to use FeedBurner you can because someone, a developer, down here has created a plugin. And it's a free plugin and Studio Press is supporting it as well. You can see there's uh, there's only been six votes but they've all been five stars so everyone's very happy with this. Studio Press are backing it so I'm sure and there's been no support th threads whatsoever. So that's a pretty good sign for a guy that's only ever developed one plugin. Obviously Studio Press are behind it and you'd expect the, the code to be A grade. Um, the advantage of using this new plugin over the existing Genesis eNews widget, which is uh, which we'll just take a quick look at. I'll just have to log in. The advantage of using this is you can also use it with Mailchimp, Aweber, FeedBlitz, and other email service providers. With the current Genesis eNews widget, it only works with FeedBurner. So this is a great little plugin. It's really, really good. You can put it in your sidebar. You can put it at the end of your post, at your top of your post. We'll just take a look at the, at the existing widget, and here it is here. You can easily customize this, but it only works with FeedBurner. You can put it in your sidebar, any widget area. I've actually put it at the end of my posts as well. So it's a great little widget, and the new one is even better. So let's just take a look. I, have, I haven't installed this, so this is the first time I've seen it. I'll just copy and paste the name of it, and... I'll be writing a post about this and this is where I'll place the video. So let's just go into the dashboard. This is my demo site. I'm using the uh, the 2012 de default theme so I'll have to change that because this plugin will only work with Genesis. I'll activate Genesis. There we go. So I've got Genesis activated. I've got a magazine child theme which is Studio Press. That's what I'm using on my current main site WPSites.net. That'll that works with Genesis but let's go to plugins add new and we'll check out this new plugin because this is a pretty decent plugin in my opinion uh, let's ins install it rated five stars so it must be pretty good activate the plugin now I don't know what settings there are because this is the first time I've looked at it um, I don't know whether they're under the theme settings let's have a look Mm, no they're not let's have a look at settings nothing under here so I think the only settings are in the widget area so we go to appearance widget and Genesis eNews extended here we are here um, put it in the header right no we won't let's put this in the primary sidebar And we'll just take a look at it. We'll just open it up. Title. Subscribe. You can put any text you, you like in there. Get uh, new content. Delivered. For free. Now you can put your Google feed burner ID in there. WPSites.net. Or you can see here form action, email field, you can put other other services in here, not all services use hidden fields so what you can do is you can paste the form action 
and the email field in there and the hidden field so you this will this will vary depending on which email service you're using this uh, supports MailChimp it supports Aweber it supports FeedBlitz so I don't know how to configure that I'll have to take a look at it and uh, let's just see what it does with FeedBurner and what, what the difference is so we'll install it there we'll go to the front end and that's pretty pretty standard that's what it used to look like uh, it doesn't uh, it doesn't look any different really you can see the gen the, the standard Genesis theme framework looks pretty good doesn't it without a without a, a theme over the top looks pretty nice um, so let's just have a look how it goes with MailChimp I'll, I'll log into MailChimp and uh, and I'll grab some code from there okay you need to grab your form action code so let's just have a look at uh, at MailChimp if you go to MailChimp you go to lists you go to the list that you're uh, that you're dealing with. Go to for for your website. Uh, sign up form embed code, and if you go down the embed code here, it'll give you the URL that you need for form action. You see the form action there, and this is the URL, and it's pretty long. So. Uh, maybe I'll copy that and I'll just paste that into notepad and where's the form action here gee it's long isn't it so I take that whole thing I guess I want some hidden fields as well I don't know which ones they are I don't play around with this mailchimp code very often so um, where are we where's our demo site here form action put in there hidden fields I'm not sure we even need them let's take out the Google uh, feed burner ID so I'll add that and let's just have a look at the front end and we'll see if we can test it get new content delivered uh, what do I need to put in here email do I brad at wpsites.net go let's see what happens here so that actually comes through to the MailChimp form so it's not really what I was uh, what I was wanting to achieve um, there must be a better way to do it than that I'll have to check it out let's have a look okay I worked this out folks uh, the email address I was putting in before is already registered in that list so that's the reason I had errors there I've just put in a Gmail account it's called demo at gmail.com and when I click go on this it goes directly through so it does work uh, please confirm your email address so this is this is what should happen after you enter your email address so this is a pretty nice uh, nice little widget it's easy easy to connect um, you don't need to put a hidden field in if, if your form code doesn't contain it you can see the input type here you've got all these different input types if you can't find any with hidden then you don't have to worry about it so we'll just go back to the form again we'll go back to the widget appearance widgets and we'll just have a look at it again so I've just put subscribe a little bit of text in there you can put some sales copy whatever you like in there the form action I've just grabbed the URL from that uh, MailChimp form code and here it is here form action and you can simply copy and paste that into this field here the email field keep the same as you've got here and the name here is email so copy and paste the name there not the value and put that in there and the hidden fields if you don't have any hidden fields in that code don't worry about them so that's pretty straightforward really save that and that's what it looks like on the Genesis theme, theme framework it's pretty sort of simple you can put it in any widget area let's have a look at what it looks like when we're uh, using different themes so I've got a few different themes installed let's have a look uh, I was using a really nice theme balance and I've changed that let's activate uh, magazine and see what it looks like it'll look a bit different now so we'll go to the front end gone I have to go back to widgets uh, primary sidebar I'm gonna lose all that 
I think I'm going to lose all that unless I've got another one down here. Here we go. Because this one's already done. So I'll put that one in there. Take that new one out. Put that in, in active widgets. And I'll just check that this is the one I configured. Yeah, here it is. It's got all the data in there. I'll just save that again just in case. When you change themes, you lose your widgets. So you, you have to go and find them again, which is a bit of a bummer. They should fix that in WordPress. But uh, that's what it looks like with your theme. Obviously, the different themes are going to give your forms, um, your widget areas, different styling. So that looks a lot nicer. It's got a bit of a color to it. So uh, this, is, uh, this is a great widget that you can connect to all the major email marketing services. It's a great idea um, by, uh, by, by Studio Press and, and one of the community plugin developers. So uh, that's all, folks. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Cheers.